Yes. Glock 19, Gen 4, we're still at it. We are still playing with this piece of steel and polymer. And this belongs to Glock, actually. Uh, so I need to do all the shooting I'm going to do with it and send it back, right? Unless I choose to purchase it. And I have a parcel of Glock 19, so that may not be likely. I don't know. Okay, so this is it. We've done a couple of videos recently. And we've shot a lot of ammo. Uh, we're going to shoot some more. Now, some of this you've seen. But we had some ammo left with it, and uh, I got to thinking we were going to do kind of a short wrap-up video with this gun. And I thought, well, let's just shoot it all again. In some ways, the fact that we have uh, done all this so quickly, uh, maybe a little unfair, I don't know. Ideally, probably, uh, if I had shot the thing, uh, you know, 600 times and then did this, we might have gotten a different result, I don't know. As some people have pointed out, though, uh, and justifiably so, uh, using some common sense, I think. We, we would like to think we could buy a gun, especially a Glock, and just take it out and shoot it, and it's going to fire just about anything you can pick up without having to go through a two or three or four hundred round break-in. Although some guns uh, do advertise. I know Carr, for example, in their manual says you need to shoot it a couple hundred times before you depend on it. You know, It's not been my experience with Glock. So what we're going to do is... Shoot us some more. And I got some different ammo too. I didn't have any PMC. And uh, what else did I get? Yeah, some uh, SB, cellular, and uh, below, pronounced by 14 different ways, depending on where you, uh, you live. But uh, I didn't have any of that. And I didn't have any PMC I had tried to find. And when I found, ran across those and noticed I had some ammo left, and I had not shot any of my own uh, special 147 grain ammo. Thought I might shoot some of that from my special uh, lot there. Uh, I'll just shoot some more. Now, in terms of numbers here, we, the best we can tell, and of course you can look at the videos, that's the neat thing about this, this is all on camera for the most part. Video one on this gun, we fired, we figure about 180 rounds. We had around 12 mags, some are Glock 17 mags, some Glock, 5, Glock 19 mags that hold 15, and so should average out to around 180. And then uh, the second video, kind of the same thing, uh, with 32 mags, buyer count, uh, for about 480 rounds. And then uh, in this video, what we have loaded up here, actually we loaded a couple more since we did this count, or one more, but uh, we're, if all goes well, we're planning to shoot around, uh, what is it, 300 rounds in, yeah, in this video, 351 rounds. So... We're going to have a thousand rounds on camera, okay? And initially, I thought maybe I would do a thousand round test, not a torture test, but you know, shoot it a thousand rounds over a period of weeks or whatever. It looks like that's what we're going to end up with, you know, uh, over a thousand rounds. And then that's not counting the 11, well, excuse me, 13 mags that we have shot off camera. We shot a couple, uh, which I mentioned in, I guess, the second video that uh, John shot after the first video. And, uh, and then I shot 11 this morning. I went through my stash and found all kinds of ammo. Some old uh, silver tip, uh, Winchester silver tip, uh, nine millimeter rounds. Uh, oh man, some Corbon, some odds and ends. I wasn't even sure what they were, but I I put together 11 magazines full of stuff uh, that I had been meaning to shoot. I've had for some of 15 years, maybe 20, and I brought it out here this morning and I fired 11 magazines of that, and I didn't have any trouble. Okay, with any of those, just just to let you know, if I had, I'd told you. But I didn't have any trouble with any of those. So totally, we're going to have around 1,200 rounds. All right, ball goes well today. Let's give you a, kind of a, a round count. All right. Uh, let's shoot some. What I thought I'd do, again, maybe it, uh, let's help this old pistol out here a little bit. And let's, uh, let's break it in. These are 147 grain rounds. That's what I just fired into that drum or that uh, old box again, okay? 147. I like heavy bullets. And uh, that's what these are. Now we've got a mixture of brass here. I mean, just so, you know, take it for what it is. These first four, well, actually five, counting the one we just fired, these first five magazines uh, are, you know, just a mixture of brass. Once fired, twice fired, four times fired, I don't know. And so that's what we're shooting on these first few mags. So I'm just going to have some fun again today. You know, this is a really expensive test, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm just shooting. <laughs> Can't beat it.
let me put these, whoops, let me put these in my uh, mag pouch. These are all the same thing. Okay, so I have three of these. All right, since I have so many, ooh, look at that. And that's one thing I want to do. I want to shoot it weak handed and, and one handed several times. Just uh, because if you're going to have a malfunction, that's where, not that I'm trying to make it malfunction, but, uh, you know, let's give it a good test. Problems there. Okay. That Glock might not like me for doing that, but I did fire some of my hand loads okay just don't tell them you're not supposed to fire reloads in a glock all right i may never get another t and e glock but i just wanted to try that because that's what i shoot mostly they worked okay let's go to some that uh we didn't fire yet pmc these are 124 grain okay this is so much fun all right ah We've got a, uh, a board sticking up in the way, and we've been meaning to saw it off. We've got some plans for a target stand, and uh, possibly right there, and we couldn't put our hands on the saw, so why don't we just use this? Can't see where I'm hitting, but uh, we'll eventually maybe work it down a little bit. All right, looks like uh, PMC passed the test. Okay, those are PMC 124. All right, let's try the old S and B here. Ooh, pretty bullets. Look at that. Look like they're made of brass, don't they? Those are pretty. I need to get some more of those. I'm going to go down here and uh, work on that thing from a little closer. Like those work okay so far. Uh, it's going to be fun. We may uh, we may have that old board there through several different uh, shooting videos, but eventually the lead will get to him. No doubt about that. It might take a 44, but uh, that'll work. So nothing wrong with having fun while you're testing. Okay. All right, we've got another magazine of the uh, Blazer. <laughs> All right, the Blazer's still working. As I recall, it worked okay the other day. In the second bit, this is... Uh, too quick on you here. Magtech again. These all are one. Most of these are well. These are all one uh, 15 grain except for the PMC. Okay, another mag of uh, Magtech. Uh, 
that's just tough work. Somebody has to do it. There's one of uh, Remington again. We had a little bit of that left. Can't get it to limp wrist with my left-handed shooting. We'll keep working on it though. All right, uh-oh, we're getting into the danger zone again here. Winchester white box. I think we had one malfunction with those. We had one with the UMC and one with the Federal. Okay, let's try a couple of these. There's empty mags out of there. So good. <laughs> uh, those plates are tough, even with a strong hand. Well, okay, those two magazines worked with uh, the 9mm. Now let's go to the UMC. All right, see how that works. Again, uh, if you guys don't trust us by now, I guess we're in the wrong business, but uh, not that this is business, uh, but these are what they are. Whatever box they're on, it's what they are. Uh, kind of fun, I need to practice this more often. Okay. I'm never really not just trying to make it malfunction by shooting left-handed. I'm just uh, kind of playing. You know, when you shoot this much, when you shoot this much, you just get to goofing around a little bit, right? Okay. We're uh. We're over to the Federal now. Now, again, we had one malfunction with this. Working on that board some more. Okay, there's two magazines of that too. Uh, it looks like we made it through those three this time. Uh, so, what do we have here? Okay, let's go to the Eagle. American Eagle, this is 115 grain. We didn't shoot all of it up. Uh, let's see. Lawman, we got one mag left of that. Uh, yes, that is warm. <laughs> it's still just as warm as it was. Okay. Now we have, whoops, uh, 124 grain American Eagle. I don't expect to have any trouble with that either. Let's go out to the gong since we had this a little bit heavier bullet, 124 grain. <sighs> All right, 
rapid fire at 80 yards. <laughs> Calm down. Okay. <laughs> Having too much fun, as you can tell. I just got to try it weekend. Okay. Gone. See if I can keep from throwing one at Nashville here now. Quit while I'm ahead. Okay. Well, you got the numbers on the ammo. That makes it, uh, by my count, a thousand, I think about a thousand thirty or forty rounds on camera. You can, of course, go back and count them if you don't have a life or something, but that's uh, that's about what we uh, we've come up with. We fired actually a couple extra magazines than we planned. Our numbers were at a thousand eleven, I think, and we loaded up a couple extra mags before we started. So, uh, around a thousand thirty, forty rounds that we fired on camera with this variety of ammo. And then uh, 13 magazines, I think actually 15. I couldn't remember whether I fired before the last video uh, magazine or two, just to, which I usually do. One magazine and, okay, where's this gun hold? You know, I've talked about that before. Where do I hold the sights on this gun? Where's it hit before we start? But uh, I, I, I couldn't remember to tell you the truth. I shoot so much, shoot more ammo than I probably should, right? But uh, so let's just say 13. So 13 magazines we know we fired off camera and we had no malfunctions with those, just again, just for the record. Uh, but on camera, you know what we had. And uh, we had, uh, I think in the first video, we had one with the UMC. And then we had uh, in the second video, we had one with the Federal and then one with the, uh, the Winchester White Box. Okay, and that was a hang up on the last round. I know it looks weird. I think I did that about a year ago. When I'm shooting, you know, and I'm thinking what I'm going to shoot and what I'm going to say, you know, not that I think that much about what I'm going to say, but when I'm, uh, I'm shooting and, you know, the, it locked back kind of, okay, it was empty. I dropped the mag, put a new mag in. I was ready to shoot. You know, oh, what was that? And it's, it really does kind of strike you as what's going on is go ahead and shoot with what I was doing. And it, it took a while for that to sink in my thick skull that that last round actually was a malfunction, you know, of course, as I annotated and I put in the uh, description. So that was, uh, I believe that was with the Winchester. Anyway, it's annotated and it's all documented. So, and you saw it live. So it won with each of those three, which of course are famous for being weaker. I kind of wonder if, uh, I think just with all this shooting, if it's not breaking in uh, and getting, uh, I don't know, broken in. Uh, I don't know that I can tell any difference when I pull it back, but uh, this is again the number four, 04 spring. And, uh, you know, it, I don't know, it, it seemed to do okay. I, on a positive note, I'll, well, on a positive note, well, let's do that. Uh, on a negative note, it would be nice if you didn't have a malfunction ever with anything, even really weak ammo uh, like this, uh, that's marginal. I guess that would be ideal. Like with the Generation 3s, you know, generally they'll just fire anything. You know, and that's, of course, what has some people upset a little bit. Uh, so, and of course, I got this at Walmart. Uh, some people have told me they, Walmart, uh, buys their ammo in such large quantities on contract that they, it, I don't know. You all might know better than I do. You probably do. Somebody does. That if you buy Federal or Winchester White Box at ammo at the Walmart, it might actually be a little bit different than what you'd buy somewhere else. I don't know. Some of the bulk ammo that uh, under those contracts were what they will sell it for the price they sell it. Maybe there's less quality control, maybe a tenth of a grain less powder. I don't know. Uh, that seems hard to believe, but uh, people, there are people who think that, and I don't know. So anyway, with the lower end ammo anyway, and that's the ammo, of course, a lot of you like to buy, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to, to do this test and uh, to do it on camera and show you the various... Uh, rounds and how they worked or whether they worked and of course I didn't, I didn't know what would what would happen to myself either really uh, so that that's the negative I guess of it uh, we have a little bobble with some of the lower end ammo I guess on the positive side most of it worked and of course all of it worked today 
uh, I will, I don't, this gun's not due to go back for, I think another month or so, so, another month, I uh, forget the date, but I will, uh, I'll probably shoot a little bit more, I'm not going to do any, any more of these, these big videos with it and uh, shoot tons of ammo, uh, we probably spent $300 just on ammo for, for to test this thing, but we'll shoot some more and I'll, I'll keep you apprised of whether or not uh, it seems to have broken in and, uh, you know, how it's going, I'll shoot it occasionally. Uh, but again, on a positive note, I like the recoil uh, characteristics that these, these new springs give a gun, I, I have to say, you know, uh, the Glock 22 I tested, the Glock 23, and I kept both of those. I did sell the Glock 22. I've got the Glock 23, you know, it's the same gun, of course, uh, in a 40 caliber. I like the spring, I like the feel of the recoil, and it just, it's just, uh, the trigger is wonderful. And I have to say with this one, uh, it, it just... Even with the nine, when you're shooting ammo that's got some power behind it, it feels pretty good. It uh, it does have a different characteristic to it. So that on the positive side, and then too that most ammo, I guess it's going to function. So uh, I wouldn't worry at all about carrying the gun either. On the positive side, I put this thing in, in my holster today with uh, with you know any good carry ammo. You know, uh, absolutely. I wouldn't put it in there with some uh, federal. <laughs> 115 grain ammo, you know, but with anything that's uh, of moderate power and then of course carry ammo is going to be more than moderate. So, you know, it's a reliable gun uh, if you got uh, that ammo in it and I guess maybe if it's broken in. So, we'll see. Seems to have uh, maybe broken in, although I didn't fire, you know, hundreds and hundreds of rounds of those three uh, suspect uh, brands today, as you saw. But anyway, take it for what it's worth. Uh, a lot of shooting, a lot of ammo. I'm knee deep in brass. Uh, hopefully, it, it gave you an idea about something uh, about what the gun will do and what it won't do. But uh, all you saw was what, you know, what it did. And uh, again, if if I did uh, six more videos like this with piles of ammunition, you know, maybe it wouldn't malfunction at all, or maybe it would still malfunction. I don't know. Just just can't do that. You know, I can't do this with every gun either. But since this gun, the Glock 19, is the one that there's so much uh, chatter about, uh, the Gen 4, I felt like it was worth it to, to go the extra mile with it and, uh, you know, give the gun as, as good a chance as I could. And, uh, you know, I, I still don't have a lot of uh, negative thoughts about it other than you do want to be careful, uh, at least initially, with these uh, marginal brands of ammo. You know, other than that, it, it does fine. It feels great. It shoots wonderful. Uh, this particular gun, I know people are always curious if, uh, if I'm going to purchase it, if that's that one you're going to keep. This one, if I didn't know better, I'd say the trigger's getting a little bit better, but it has just a hair of creep in it. Just a hair of creep. Uh, I just won't buy a Glock anymore unless it's got a really crisp trigger. I mean, most of them are, are pretty good these days. In the early days, they all were kind of mushy, it seemed like. But, uh, if it's got any creep in it or anything, I, I mean, that alone, no matter what else, uh, will keep me out of the market for it. This one seems to have just a little bit of creep. So for that reason, I might not want this gun. But uh, as far as reliability, I, I think probably with this amount of shooting and some more shooting, it would, it would uh, it's probably broken in and probably be fine. You know, not a, not, a, not a problem. But anyway, you be the judge. You've seen all the shooting and... Uh, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun throwing all that ammo. I got shooting a little fast and uh, having too much fun. But uh, anyway, we're glad to be able to do this for you, and hopefully it told you something and was of some use. So you all take care. Life's really good at the compound.